This is part eight of a series of videos documenting how we build a soundproof drum room. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at some of the finishing parts of the build. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe and hope you enjoy the video. Just about to put the second coat of wood stain on the cladding. Uh, Jacob did these yesterday, um, but didn't get that on video. So um, he's gonna do the next coat and uh, we'll get all those ready for fitting tomorrow. So we've got a few things happening today. We're gonna to spray the walls down uh, with a couple of coats of uh, breathable emulsion. Uh, we've got, before we do that, we're gonna put the flooring in. So we've got damp-proof membrane, which is like a visqueen, a black visqueen membrane. And then on top of that, we've got three by two timbers, which are suspended on these timber rubber blocks. And then what we're gonna do is put 50 mil insulation in between and then the 18mm on a groove board on top. Once we've done that, we'll get the, uh, the wall spray painted on the ceiling. In terms of the sockets, we've already pre-plugged sort of those ready for the sockets to go on. Uh, that's a Hollerford event, and the same on the other side. Outside, we've got stuff going on. We've got Jacob doing the cladding. Which is this big pile here, <laughs> just finished in dark oak. So that's all going on now. So yeah, quite a bit to uh, get through today. Uh, let's get cracking. acoustically a little bit different obviously as soon as we put a board on top of that it's going to reflect back off the ceiling uh, but this is the thing with these rooms is uh, things that obviously are going to absorb the sound and like the acoustic piles the carpet that sort of stuff so it pulls down that sort of echo and the bounciness uh, yeah so we're going to get um, get the boards on next
Okay, so we're just about to uh, get this, the spray paint on the walls. We're using the Graco GXFF uh, sprayer, which is the machine here, which is amazing. Means we can have to spray the room in about 10 minutes. Uh, we're using Armstead Trademark in a light grey, which is for breathable. Uh, it's breathable, so it lets fresh plaster breathe. So we'll give that a couple of coats. We're going to water it down about 10%. Um, just so it goes through the, the, the sprayer and, and, you know, more easily. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we might not be able to video all this because it may um, cover the camera. So let's see how we get on, but we'll try and get some of it uh, so you can see how that works. Normally keep a little mini roller handy <laughs> just in case there's any splurts from the, the, the nozzle of the spray gun. Sometimes it gets a bit blocked up and give a bit of an un, uneven spray pattern. So normally I have that handy just to smooth anything off. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Uh, just get the mask on and then we'll get started. fitting a black UPVC window to the outside of the studio uh, which is going to have a double glazed unit in it on the inside we're going to have a timber frame window which we'll make and um, that's going to have three double glazed un units in it so it's going to be eight layers of glass all together uh, which matches the density of the walls one great tool we use for fitting doors and windows is the uh, the wind bag which you can get from Screwfix uh, these pump up um, it's really kind of useful to get things in place whilst you're fixing them. Uh, it can take up to 135 kilograms in weight um, and they sort of increase up to about 50 mil. Uh, so if you're putting a door in or a window, you can use these to get them straight. You see these sort of pump up and then you've got a release valve there. Yeah, so pretty useful for window fitting and door fitting. <laughs>
get on the studio. Let's have a little around, see where we're up to. So we've got the cladding on all the way round. That's a dark oak. Down here we've got the main supply coming in. Around the back we've still got to have the guttering on. That's still got, and we've got corner trims going on the corner of the building. That's the aircon feed at the back. Uh, got the outer window in. The trim's got to be painted yet. To be painted black to match and sealed. Light above the door there. Sort of around the back, we've got some trims around this door that's going to be painted. Uh, another light there. Obviously, the timber then joins the, the cladding there. That's all getting there. And around here, we've got another uh, light there which will illuminate this area, which I believe is going to have some decking and a hot tub. <laughs> um, and then on the back, we've still got to put the guttering on this side and a couple of bits to finish. Got an out outside socket there. The storage area is pretty much finished now. Let's just have a quick look in there. That's just how it has to be on the walls. We've got the racking. This has got full power uh, and a light. So I'll take a shape. And then in the main studio, that's all been spray painted now. Just have a quick look in there. That's like a light grey colour. It's hard to see on the camera. Uh, yeah, the window's in there. We've got the consumer unit, sockets are on, uh, light fitting there. Got a vent there and one here. Got the Quinetic key fob switch, which is a, a remote switch. There we go around there. Which you press that button and it sort of creates its own spark to uh, energize the receiver, which then turns the lights on. So once that's this is turned on, it turns on the lights here and the one above the door in the storage area. All the floors in now, so that's all done. So we'll get in there with a couple of days, we should have this one finished. Hope you've enjoyed the video series so far. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe and we'll hope to see you on the next one.